Hello! Today I would like to respond to the video from the Cranky Vegan channel titled Cosmic Skeptic vs. That Vegan Teacher Who's Worse for the Animals? I watch the Cranky Vegan channel quite regularly, like almost every episode, and I rather seldom I watch That Vegan Teacher's channel. However, in this case I must strongly oppose the Cranky Vegan's video. In fact, I find it quite offensive to compare those two persons, Cosmic Skeptic and that vegan teacher, because the main difference between those two is that for Cosmic Skeptic, animals are unimportant, while for that vegan teacher, they are important, and that's the main difference. Like I said in my previous episode, I truly believe that this Cosmic Skeptic meant to quit meat for good, but only if it was easy. If you are not sure what's his true attitude towards animals, I recommend you checking his atheist videos. Animals are omnipresent in religions. While discussing religions, he had uncountable number of opportunities to discuss animal rights, to defend animals, but he never did it while he did something opposite. He even used animals' topics to convey his own atheist narrative. I'm absolutely sure that discussing religions is essential, is one of the most important topics, as the religions are absolutely major obstacle in spreading veganism. Doesn't matter if you are a believer or you consider yourself an atheist, Religions are self-proclaimed authority in the topic of morality. So even if you don't go to the church, you follow religious morals, religious ethics also towards animals, or if you are opposed to it, so you are always in relation to religious ethics, always somewhere around the mental construct telling us how to treat animals or who are animals, that they are soulless or like religions are trying to tell us that they are unconscious machines. And also Alex is sharing this opinion. Theoretically, he opposes religions, but multiple times he, we can observe that he's sharing the same opinions. He's kind of infected by religious thinking. He's not far. But fortunately, he is questioning religious. Maybe later, maybe in the future. Like I said in my last video, he's still very young. Maybe five years later, he will mentally evolve. Maybe his future narrative will be more interesting. So myself, I find acceptance in myself uh, or tolerance or even interest in his further career. However, let's make it clear. For Alex, animals are unimportant. He had thousands of opportunities to defend animals when he was talking about religions. He never did it strongly, because animals have never been important for him. On the other hand, we have another vegan activist, that vegan teacher, who might sometimes behave even aggressive. But why? Because animals are important for her. So can we be angry because animals are so important for her, that she has emotions, that she reacts emotionally, because she's truly suffering, because she, really, indeed, she's connected to victims and they are important for her. So who is worse? The guy for whom animals are unimportant or the person for whom animals are important? That's crazy even to compare, to ask, to think about it. He's presenting her comment. To be honest, I hadn't seen that comment before. Uh, she writes, the selfish narcissism and betrayal towards us and the animals is unforgivable. Okay, who is to forgive? That's interesting because this topic even Alex uh, discussed in his last video. Who is to forgive? He asked the, the, his guest, the bishop, whether the God can forgive sins done towards other souls or maybe the victims 
are the ones who can forgive. This is exactly what I had been telling many times, that only animals have the power and competence and the right to forgive. It's up to them whether they forgive us or not, that we've been consuming them, harming them, killing them. We definitely have no right to forgive. We have no right to take those things, those crimes, lightly. So she's definitely right in this post. The only thing we can do as a vegan activists is not to say this. I understand that uh, Jake is thinking and focused on strategies, on effectiveness, and he thinks that it's better maybe not to say people what they are doing is horrible. Because he finds it more effective, he thinks this way we can communicate more successfully. Okay, I understand, I agree. But to be fair, acceptance, tolerance, not saying the truth is optional. You cannot call it mandatory for vegan activists. So activists are not allowed, never ever say the truth. I mean, never ever say the truth that it is horrible. Okay, with last sentence from this post, I don't agree. I also think she went too far. But on the other hand, Alex himself was discussing exactly this issue. It was him who said that only victim is allowed or has the right to forgive. Nobody else is allowed to forgive. So I think I expect him as a not stupid, limited guy to understand even this kind of comment. Of course he should. He's supposed to agree with that vegan teacher that none of us humans has any competence to forgive. We must consider crime against animals unforgivable. No other option. And my last question today. Not only Jake, I heard many times that, that other vegans suggest that that vegan teacher may repel people from the veganism. My question is, who can be repelled by being told the truth? Can someone for whom animals are important feel offended? or only those who are searching for excuses, for whom animals are so unimportant that not worthy to be, to consider their interest, their right to live. That's funny because so many non-vegans openly admit that for them animals are more important than humans. For example, even my friend recently said, after his friend had died, he said, mm, it's okay that his friend died, it's normal, people are dying. And then he added, if his cat died, this would be the true tragedy. So he openly says that his cat is more important for him than his friend. And billions of people in the world will say, express such opinions. For many, many people, animals are more important than humans. The only problem is that they mean only their animals. And our task is to tell people into taking into consideration also other animals, not only their cats and dogs. They should start thinking about other animals as well. But the funny thing is that for non-vegans, it's okay, it's normal to say animals are important, even more important than people. But if vegans consider animal interests and animals' lives important, like that vegan teacher, I think that her main fault, main scene in vegans' community is the fact that for her, animals are truly important. This is what she is being blamed for. So for vegans, it's not allowed to consider animals important. For non-vegans, it's okay. Do you understand what I mean? We are so overcritical to other activists. Not only critical, we are violent. Canceling people is violence. 
and vegans are constantly trying to cancel other vegans. This is pure violence. And maybe I even can accept violence. The question is, why are they using violence towards those people? What are the faults of those people? In this case, what's wrong with that vegan teacher? In this case, I am afraid that only the fact that she openly declares that animals are important, are important enough to deserve more effort from guys like Alex. This is the problem. This is the issue. Maybe she went too far in last sentence of this comment. I think so. But let's not be childish. Alex himself said, only victims can forgive. We cannot. And that's it. Thank you for your attention. See you. Bye.